Are you working in HubSpot and you're trying to set up your blog, but you went to the HubSpot forms tool and there's no actual form to do your blog subscription on maybe the sidebar or a blog subscribe page? <gasps> oh no! Well, never fear, Hub Hero. It's not that difficult because the part you're missing is actually the blog subscription portion. So in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Hey, you know what time it is. That's right, it's your boy George B. Thomas from georgebthomas.com and today we're talking about blog subscriptions, whether it be instant, daily, weekly, or monthly, you can set up the cadence that you believe your users are going to want to use, but in this video we're going to show you how when you set the blog subscriptions up, magically a form shows up that's tied to those subscriptions and then you can use that in your sidebar or on a blog subscribe page where people will subscribe and the emails will automatically go out. Without further ado, let's get in to the good stuff. One of the first things that you're going to want to do when you create your blog is actually go back to settings, go to websites, go to blog, and then you're going to want to go to subscriptions. Now, in this case, you're going to want to figure out, do you want instant, daily, weekly, or monthly notifications? In this case, what we're going to do with proper pup gear is we're going to go ahead and create a daily notification. We'll select an email right here. We're going to just use this basic welcome, but the idea is we would turn this into a template. Now, what this is doing is it's pulling in the RSS feed, and so because we've chosen daily, we're going to go ahead and say one blog article. Of course, in another tutorial, we'll show you how to update this as far as your logo and your footer and fix all of these fun things so it is the way that it is. But right now... We're just going to get this in place. So we've got a single blog article. Notice new posts daily for proper pup gear blog. We're going to go ahead and get rid of the second blog there in the naming convention. Settings, we're going to say that it's actually coming from Kaylee. And we'll put that in there. We'll use the latest blog entry headline for the subject line. And then we'll go ahead and review and publish. Notice that company name and address is required for legal compliance. So we'll come back in here. That's the footer area. We'll click on the footer module. I'm actually going to change this from both to manage preferences. And I'm going to edit the office location. So as you can see, we now have the location. We can hit review and publish. And now we can publish that email. Once we have that one in there, we're going to go ahead and go back to all emails for a second. We'll hit settings. We'll go back to our website and then go back to our blog. We're gonna do subscriptions. We're gonna go ahead and let people do a weekly notification as well. We'll pick that email template again, which we'll design a little bit better later in another tutorial. But we're gonna go ahead and at least get those footers white. And we're gonna see that this says weekly and we're gonna go ahead and review and publish and publish emails. Now, once we have those subscriptions in place, and again, it was settings, website, blog, and subscriptions. Once we have those in place, now we need to be able to get people to connect to those, meaning we want people to be able to sign up. So we're going to go marketing, and we're going to go forms, and we're going to see now that we have a subscribe to proper pup gear blog notification. So if you're getting started with HubSpot, and you come in here and only see a comments form and not a sign up or subscribe form, it's because you haven't gone in and actually set up your subscriptions in the settings area. So make sure when setting up your blog, get those subscriptions in place, and then you're gonna have that form that will connect to that subscription. With HubSpot CMS, it's that simple, it's that easy. So there you go, setting up your blog subscribe page or blog subscribe in your sidebar is that simple, that easy if you get your blog subscription set up, get your emails in place, and all of a sudden that magic form shows up. Now remember, focus on your community and focus on those educational articles that add value once you get the blog subscribe and the form in place. And between now and then, remember to be a happy, helpful, humble human, and we'll see you in the next video.